Oh, hey, Sean. Hey, glad you're here. Good to see you. Did you know it's un unreasonably cold outside? So I just thought I'd, you know, having to knit a sweater. Um, I'm trying to think, of, should I change the pattern? Knit one, purl two, you know. It's, I saw it on a knitting show once. Man, crazy thing, they have everything online these days, watching and, you know, there was one time there was a cat and, man, I don't even own a cat, but it was really relaxing. Hey. Why don't you take your coat off and stay a while? So, I don't know, should I knit one, purl two, or purl two, knit one, purl one? I just, ah, oh man, I don't know. It's, man, I really hate knitting. Yeah, but it is cooler outside, so maybe after I go from the sweater, I'll, you know, maybe me, I'll make move to a scarf and you know, maybe make mittens. Glad you can come. Hey everybody, I'm Izzy. And I'm Sean, welcome to Cypress Kids Online. Sean, go ahead and tell the folks uh, what we have planned for today. I have no, I have no idea. It's up to you. <laughs> uh, that's funny, Sean. But it was your turn to plan the guest this week. Uh, no, 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 no. It was, uh, it was definitely your turn to come up with the game. No. 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 Uh-uh. No. 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 <laughs> I don't even know what we're saying no about Me anymore. Me either. Oh, oh so uh, what do we have planned today, Izzy? Oh yeah, that's it. Really, you don't you have anything planned for I, today? No, I don't. <sighs> Me either. Oh wait, I know what'll work. Um, welcome, somebody who knows stuff. I thought I thought that would work. Um. How about, let's play a game. You know, believe it or not, there's a lot of production that goes into this. Planning the game, the props, the sound effects. So then, what do we do on the show today? All right, listen, we're, um, we're creative guys. Yeah. Uh, we can come up with something. If, there, if only there was some sort of contraption that had like an idea, uh, yeah. uh, just create a, like a wheel of creative ideas or something mm -hmm. um, that would just kind of get us out of this situation. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, hey. Yeah, you, uh, is that the wheel of ideas? Can we use that? Oh, thanks. Thanks, oh, yeah. All right. All right. Huh, well, I'm a, uh, Kind of excited to see how uh, this works, the Wheel of Creative Ideas. Yeah. Um, you want to go first? Yeah, sure. You got it right here? Something like that. Oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? It keeps on going to... Make up a story about a dog, watering can, and an elf in 10 seconds. You got the timer on your watch? All right, you ready? And... Go. All right, one time there was this elf. Um, he lived in a watering can down by the river. Then this big dog came and knocked the can over in the water with his big wet nose. Time's up. Oh, man, that was such a good story. Thank you. I was curious. I'm on the edge of my seat. What would happen to that watering can? Nobody will know. <laughs> okay, my turn. Go. Ready? <laughs> oh, perfect. All right, bake a pie with the first three ingredients you think of. Okay. Um, mm. Cheese, um, pickles, uh, curry. You can't make a pie out of that. Uh, of course, I can. Oh. Um, How about you take the first bite? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Get, mm -hmm. get that out of here. Now. Get it out of here. Mm. Oh. It's the curry. 
It gets in your throat. Special um, ingredient. Okay, 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 okay. That. Let's, uh, let me, let me spin again here. Here we go. Ready? Right, here we go. Set, go. <laughs> Sing a song about the weather. Yeah. All right, um, let me see, okay. Weather is really fun when I think about the sun. But when the clouds are out, it makes me want to pout. Oh, man, that was nice. Uh -huh. I like the, uh, the pout part. I do it quite often. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, here we go. My turn. And ready? Set, go! <laughs> Make up an exercise that works out every muscle. Nope. Challenge accepted. Go for it, man. Let's see, it. Let's see what you got. All right, I mean, that's not bad, but I, I don't see any footwork in there. All right, okay. Now, I, your face probably needs to get a little bit of, yeah, yeah, oh, there you go. Maximum effort. Now, the most important part, like, according to Michael Jordan, at least, you got to use your tongue. Oh, there we go. There's the MJ tongue. All right, but well, you keep doing that. I'm going to go ahead and spin for the next one here. All right, just keep working. Here we go. Okay. Draw a picture with my toes. I'm actually going to draw you right now. Um, let me... Got this paper here. Okay. I, I, I think it uh it looks it looks just like you. It looks, this looks great. Cool. Hey guys, it's me, Izzy. Hey everybody, it's Bible Story Tom Brittany. Hey guys. Hey Brittany. What's the story about today? Well, it looks like you guys got a great head start on our topic because today we're getting creative. Very cool! And you know, there's a lot of different ways to be creative. Like cooking, for example. You see, creativity will come out of everyone differently. Why can you do this? I love how musicians create so many different types of melodies and play so many different types of instruments. Music alone has a wide variety of creativity. Sports are creative too. You have to figure out creative ways to work together with your teammates and then add a throw and a catch and a touchdown in there. Woo, you've got yourself a game. We can't forget people who love science and use their creativity to invent things like medicines or cleaning products. Oh, architecture is incredibly creative. You might like playing with Legos now, but you could be building skyscrapers one day. Then there are artists. Artists use colors to create beautiful pictures that can tell stories and touch people's emotions, like this one. It seems like there's no end to people's creativity. Do you ever wonder why? Let's look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. He wrote, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. That is why there are so many different ways to be creative. It's because you, me, and everyone you will ever know were created by a very creative guy, God. And we can use our creativity to do good things. We can use our creativity to love others and to point people to Jesus. Pretty cool, huh? That's really cool, Brittany. Yeah, and this whole time I thought the only way you could be creative is if like, you knew how to draw or something, which obviously I am not that great at. What's that supposed to be? Uh, supposed to be a picture of Izzy? Oh, yeah, I can see that now. Thank you. Lucky for you, there are a ton more ways to be creative than just being good at drawing. That is great news. You just have to remember that God created us in his image. So it makes sense that some of his creativity is inside of us. Awesome. Thanks for telling the story today, Brittany. Anytime, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Bye Brittany! Brittany! Do I really look like that? 
Absolutely. Check this out. Hi, I'm Izzy. Reveal the question. How are you creative? Okay, I'm creative because I can knit. And I'm good at making up stories. What about you? Yeah, maybe you create something with your hands or feet, or maybe you come up with solutions to problems. Uh, talk about it together. How are you creative? Yeah, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for being creative and creating us in your image. I pray that you use us and the creativity that you have given us to spread hope to this world. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. See you guys next week. What's an astronaut's favorite time to eat? I don't know. Launch time! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you get with a bowling ball and a burger? Oh. A burger! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man! I'm hilarious. <laughs> crack myself up. This is great. <laughs> this is what it's like with you every time. Oh, man, you're such a lucky person. I am. Uh.